In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow pumpkins from seeds for Halloween. If you want to grow your own pumpkins, then you should be thinking about it in the spring. Pumpkin is a very tender vegetable. The seeds do not germinate in cold soil and the seedlings are injured by frost. So do not plant until all danger of frost is passed and the soil is thoroughly warmed up. May is the ideal time. If you don't, you'll be faced with disappointment of picking your pumpkin from the supermarket shelves instead. It's a shame that these magnificent autumn vegetables are so easily forgotten because growing a pumpkin is great fun for all the family, especially for Halloween. There's a pumpkin to suit every home at Halloween from the tiny pumpkin to the enormous pumpkin. But before you begin growing giant pumpkins, it's wise to think about how much space you have to spare. If you prefer traditional sized pumpkins, then it's a perfect choice for carving and making pumpkin pies. For something slightly different, why not try a small attractive variety pumpkin? The green and orange pattern fruits that are the perfect size for popping in the microwave. So when do you sow pumpkins? Pumpkins require warm daytime temperatures of between 18 and 30 degrees Celsius. That's 68 degrees Fahrenheit and prefer a minimum nighttime temperature of 16 degrees Celsius. That's 61 degrees Fahrenheit at least until they're planted out. In cooler areas, pumpkins can be sown outdoors from April to mid-May for transplanting outside later on when temperatures have risen. However, if sowing space is at a premium, then you may prefer to wait until the soil is warmed up in late May and early June and then sow directly in situ outdoors. Whether you choose to start them in pots or in the garden, it's best to sow two seeds per hole and then thin out the weakest plants later on. If you are direct sowing pumpkins outdoors, start them off under cloches to give them the best start. So how do you grow a pumpkin? So the step one is to sow pumpkin seeds on their side in a small seven and a half centimeter, that's three inch pot of seed compost at a depth of about 2.5 centimeters, that's about an inch. Step two, place them in a propagator or seal the pots inside a plastic bag at a temperature of about 20 Celsius, that's 68 degrees Fahrenheit until germination, which takes about five to seven days. Step three, once germinated, grow the pumpkin plant on for about four weeks until they are large enough to be transplanted outdoors. Step four, gradually acclimatize them to outdoor conditions over seven to 10 days before transplanting pumpkins into warm, well-drained, humus rich soil in full sun with shelter from winds. Choose a spot that receives at least six hours of direct sun per day and prepare the soil in advance, adding plenty of well rotted manure or compost. Step five, planting distances can range from 90 centimeters apart to three meters apart, depending on the variety. So you will need to check the seed packet. At each planting station, pile the soil into mounds about 15 centimeters high, that's about six inches, Plant each pumpkin plant on top of the mound to ensure good drainage and keep them well watered until they are established. Step six, pumpkins enjoy plenty of nitrogen, so they will appreciate a feed of general fertilizer a few weeks after planting. They will begin to produce long stems which can be trained in a circle around the plant to prevent them spreading too far. They have deep roots and are normally quite capable of finding their own water within the soil, but in very dry periods, some supplementary watering may be required. So how do you pollinate pumpkins? Pumpkins are normally insect pollinated, but if the fruits are not setting, then you may need to hand pollinate them. Female pumpkin flowers can be identified by a swollen bump at the base of the bloom, which male flowers don't have, so you can easily tell them apart. Don't be alarmed if the first few flowers are all male, this is normal, and you will start to find female flowers developing soon after. As the flowers develop, pick a single male flower and remove its petals. Press it against the center of each female flower, if you prefer, you can tickle the center of each flower with a small paintbrush to transfer the pollen from the male flower. If you are growing pumpkins for Halloween, then you will be hoping for the largest fruits possible. 
Select just two or three pumpkins per plant and remove all others to focus the plant's energy on your chosen fruit. So how do you harvest pumpkins? Leave your pumpkins on the plant for as long as possible till the skin is hardened and the fruits start to crack near the stem. Be sure to harvest them before the first frost though. Cut each fruit from the stem leaving several inches of the stem attached. So here's my best pumpkin growing tips. Pumpkins can be prone to rotten if they're sitting on wet ground. If necessary you can raise the fruits off the ground using a wooden board or a large upturned seed tray. When growing pumpkins you can help the fruits to ripen by removing any foliage that is shading them. In cool seasons you may need to harvest pumpkins in a few weeks before Halloween and bring them into a warm room to help them ripen in time. So how do we use pumpkins? Well they can be used as table decorations. Place them on some colourful autumn leaves that you've collected or if you're really creative make some place settings with them for your party dinner guests. You can also make Halloween carvings. Small pumpkins can look very effective and are easier for young children to handle. There are lots of free templates on the internet from simple to more elaborate designs to really impress your neighbours. You can also make soup bowls out of them. Pumpkin soup is delicious and looks really effective presented in hollowed out pumpkins. Simply scoop out the flesh making sure that the bowl is sturdy enough to hold the soup. You'll find some great recipes on the internet for creating pumpkin and butternut squash soups. Finally the pumpkin seeds don't throw away after the carving. Pumpkin seeds are edible, simply scoop them out, wash them and dry the seeds. Sprinkle them with oil, salt and pepper and roast them. You can use them for a garnish on salads and soups or just eat them as a tasty snack. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to grow pumpkins for Halloween. If you have please give this video the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on the life cycle of a pumpkin for kids. Thanks for watching and bye for now.